today I'm setting up a brand new cake muscle skateboard in preparation for my Texas trip. You guys are going to want to watch this video in its entirety because somewhere in the middle I'll be giving away my old skateboard. It's in pretty good shape so we're also answering your guys questions off of Instagram. So let's get right into it. First question is from Tilrig. Are there new graphics coming soon? I have no plans for Cake Muscle graphics until probably March. The reason is because there's no reason for me to stock up right now since Christmas is right around the corner. The skateboards would not be made in time and I want to gauge how well Cake Muscle is going to do through the holiday before I put any more money into it. So there are not any new graphics planned. I did want to do like the the beer pong themed graphic, but that's probably gonna have to wait. The good news is that the store is completely restocked. So if there were some designs you guys liked in the past, they're most likely in stock now at cakemuscle.com. Next question, not shot guitar. Comments on Schrock's Ride Channel interview and how YouTube appears to be on course to eclipse the traditional skate industry. Seems a lot like what you and others have been saying for a while. Ride Channel did an article that I feel like they did a pretty good job on, but it also seemed kind of like they were still laughing at the whole thing. It was called something like the skateboarder you haven't heard of who's taking over the industry or something like that. Whoever knows it, uh, leave it in the comments below. It was a cool article and we've been saying this forever. A lot of people don't like the idea that Andy sort of came from YouTube, but he is a real skateboarder, you know, and he's selling a product that people like. And I don't mean revive, I mean his attitude, you know? He's a happy, friendly, watchable guy, and that's what skateboarders want to see right now. I also try to tell you guys that we make these cool companies, for example, Cake Muscle, but a better example would be like Baker and Death Wish. You know, the whole like, oh, we're hash and crazy and we're like, we're drunk and whatever. And that shit's cool. I love that aspect of skating being like this misfit, sort of like outcast genre. But those people aren't spending the money in this industry. The people spending the money in this industry are the little kids. You know, those are the people buying skateboards all the time, even when they're not broken. Those are the kids who are buying, you know, all this product so they can look cool on the first day of school. So Andy, you know, whether he meant to or not, is right now the leader in that market, aside from maybe Walmart. And now everyone wants to get mad about it, but they tend to forget that he is still a real 100% skateboarder. And he's not doing this to, to make money or rip off the world. He's doing it because he enjoys it. So those are my thoughts. I read the article, but I don't remember it that much. I just feel like the title was sort of off-putting for me, saying like, oh, he's taking over and no one's heard of him. It's like, what the fuck? If no one's heard of him, then how the fuck is he taking over? But then again, you know, they need the title to be something cool that people will click on, so. I don't know, cool article, definitely worth checking out. You could probably find it, just type in Andy Schrock Ride Channel. What is wrong with this bolt? And it'll probably come up on Google. Next question. Numb Wood, where's the best place to eat in Las Vegas? I feel like trying something new. Uh, Andy was in town the other day and we went to a Mexican food place that, I don't know if it's run by or whatever, it was opened by Guy Fieri, the guy from Food Network with like the blonde hair, which, <laughs> funny enough, reminds me of Andy for some reason because he's so eccentric and shit. But it's called uh, El Burro Baracho. It means like the, the drunken donkey or like the drunken horse or something. Really bomb Mexican food. A little bit pricey. You know, if you want a plate, it's probably going to be like 18 bucks. But that was super bomb. You find yourself in Las Vegas, go to Guy Fieri's restaurant. I think it's inside the Rio Hotel Casino. Next question. Pedo Bob Ross. It's <laughs> a funny name. How much time did I used to skate per day when I was 15? A lot. Uh, let me think about this. I'd probably get home from school at like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably five hours a day. And on the weekend, I would get up much earlier than I get up now. I'd be up at like 10 and I'd skate from probably 10 
to like nine. So what is that, 11 hours? I would skate a lot as a kid. Uh, a lot of these old guys, they get into this weird, like, bitter stage of, of adulthood where they're like, oh, you kids are lucky, you have all day long, you don't have to work, you can just skate all day. And now that I'm a little bit older, I agree with that. It's fucking awesome not having to go to work and having all that time to dedicate to whatever you like to do. Even if it's something like video games, it's still really cool that you're in this perfect, happy stage of life where bills don't exist and you can just blow your whole day and you can eat fucking Cheetos all goddamn day and you won't shit your brains out the next day. You know what? I miss those days, but I also love, I love the days right now. You know, I love the way things are going right now. So anyways, that got off to a little tangent. I used to skate a fucking lot. That's going to be my answer. A fucking lot. Next question. Fito Rascon. Don't know how I'm supposed to say that, but will you have a part in Shrock's video? Question mark. Yes. Well, no. <laughs> I will have uh, a few tricks, but I will not have a full part. It almost wouldn't make sense for me to have a full part because I'm not on Revive or Force. So, not a full part, but definitely going to get some clips in it. Next question. That was an easy one. Ralphie Barba. What is my opinion on chicks skateboarding question mark? I think it's awesome if I see a chick at the park, you know, and somebody asked me the other day on the Twitch stream, they were like, would you ever date like a girl skater? And I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, it'd be cool to have that much in common with a chick. But that's like the nice answer. If you want my real answer, all you gotta do is watch me watching Women's Street League. It's fucking embarrassing. Chicks are not good at skateboarding and of course, there's gonna be some social justice fag in the comments like, well, you're just being sexist. I'm not being sexist, I'm being realistic, okay? That's the thing that pisses people off who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Facts, okay? And this is a fact. I used to judge contests where kids were, it would be separated by like 13 and under, 13 and older, and then advanced. And I promise you, all the contests I judged of kids who were 13 and under was better than the best female skaters in the world on Street League. It was fucking boring. I was falling asleep. And the girls have to realize it because in warm-ups and practice, you see all the guy skaters killing it. They're probably killing it more than when the cameras are actually on. And these chicks, you know, they're trying their hardest, you know. Uh, Letitia Buffoni went for a lip slide and damn near lost her fucking life. Whereas you got Nyjah and Jocelyn gapping to that rail like it's nothing. Flipping into it. So they don't hold a flame to to male skateboarders and I don't know it I think about it a lot when I think about things like uh like the UFC fights and shit too those chick fights are also equally boring but then every once in a while you get like that one standout which you know a year ago it was Ronda Rousey who now fucking got demolished by uh what is it Holly Holm but I think we need that in skateboarding, and everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be uh, Lacey Baker or Leticia Buffoni or something like that. But I don't think it's gonna be like that, okay? If I had to predict the future, I think it's gonna be some sort of badass pool skater or something. Because this whole, I don't know, maybe it's like body mechanics or something like that, but women cannot fucking be good on a skateboard, you know? And someone's in the comments is gonna say, well, there's a couple girl skaters that are better than you! It's like, okay, sure, there's a couple of girl professional skaters who get paid just to skateboard who are better than me at skateboarding, but there's also a fuckload who get paid to be a professional skateboarder who are not better than me, and I'm not a fucking pro. I'm a YouTuber. I'm, I'm way past my prime, and I'm still better than some of the best female skateboarding athletes on the planet. That shouldn't be right. That shouldn't be real. That shouldn't even be an argument for anybody. Ah, let me know what you think about that, because... I. I don't know, maybe I'm biased or something. I don't know how I would be biased. I'm just realistic. I just live in fucking reality where you watch Street League and you want to fast forward through this boring... <sighs> I digress. Do you want a chance to win this skateboard? Screenshot a picture of you sharing one of two videos. First video can be the song that Raiden did. It's called I Did It. Or the video that's called Vario Flip In Your Face. You share that on Facebook, take a screenshot, put that screenshot on Instagram and hashtag um, Harambe giveaway. I'll pick the winner probably next Tuesday when I come back from Texas. 
and uh, it's only for the US. I know everyone's gonna cry, but I'd rather only pay $14 in shipping than have to pay 75. So that's just me. I'd rather pay $15 to give you free shit than pay $75 to give you free shit for doing next to nothing. For those of you who share the videos without me having to ask you, thank you a lot. It helps me tremendously. Free skateboard giveaway. And uh, if you want, I can even sign it or something. Whatever you guys want. I am at your service. Until next time, guys. Kuna Matata. Bitches.